day. Let's go. Wakanda's got Black Panther. They got Puma. <laughs> What's going on, movers and groovers? Welcome to Emroy TV, the place to move, groove, and grow. If it's your first time here, welcome. If it's your second, third, fourth, fifth millionth time here, welcome back. I appreciate you watching all the content that I've been sharing. I hope you guys have been enjoying, you know, the K-pop stuff that you've been watching and anything that I've been sharing on Emroy TV aside from that. Um, if it's your first time here and you don't know who I am, I'm not TikTok famous, I'm not Instagram famous, I'm not all that kind of famous. But I think I do, I, but I think I, I have a little bit of experience that kind of gives me, you know, I'd say permission to, get, to even say say anything. Uh, but anyways, just to introduce myself a little bit about my credentials, I've been dancing for over 20 years, choreographing, directing, and teaching for over 15. Uh, Co-founded a competitive hip hop crew called Family Business back in 2004. Toured with a professional hip hop theater company called Antics. Worked with companies such as Culture Shock, Moving On Up Productions and Mixed Elements. And I currently direct a hip hop entertainment company called Temper Tantrum. Make sure you check out their content uh, because they also do reaction videos, but they also do dance content uh, and amazing other things similar to this channel, except it's a whole cast of characters for you guys to watch. Uh, if it's your first time here and you don't know what the format is, just quickly go through it. It's a three phase process. Phase one, I just react to the content and it just I like very much like a sports commentator if you guys watch sports and comment on the action as it goes. Um, I know some of you guys just like, you know, when the reactors just react as the action is all happening. Uh, part two is actually my favorite part where I get to put my choreographer director's hat on and kind of analyze every sweet frame of the choreography, the formation changes, their, their everything about the dance and kind of share with you guys some insights uh, in what I'm noticing, what I love about it, and also noticing the things that they, you know, that they improved on the upcoming rehearsals. Um, and uh, this leads up to the third part, which is watching either performance video, performance, you know, on stage or a music video, depending on what's gonna get me in trouble or not get, it, get me in trouble on uh, the world of YouTube. Uh, so this is essentially where the vision comes to life, where I get to see not just the dancing, but also the wardrobe, the lighting, everything come to life. And I think that just wraps up everything together uh, because, you know, watching the choreography and that's just really one part of the whole thing. And uh, seeing what, the, what these companies are trying to package with these artists for these songs, just seeing the final product just makes sense. So with that, let's get on to the video. Oh, that's fucking clever with the cage. I'm guessing that's the who breaking out. Hey. Hey, let's go. Wakanda's got Black Panther, they got Puma. <laughs> nice little floor work. I feel like I've seen that pattern before. Let's go with the barrel turns. Yeah, I love the heaviness in their movement. Nice. Love that. Damn, they extending the shit out of those legs, man. Oh shit. That was great visual right there. Great dynamic. That's probably the... No, actually no. Well, can't you see me was more somber? This was more like 
hard and like this this feels angrier compared to the other stuff I've seen it's a nice vibe change or darker in a sense I mean also literally and figurative because they're wearing all black Oh, that's clever. Bah! Nice little groove. Really le leaning into their themes, man. first thing that really came to mind was the dynamics and how the great use of the visuals to show the cage breaking out of the cage loved seeing him like just stand on top of his other two bandmates and just like having that kind of presence of like oof, like uh i don't know just like owning your presence just love that the choreography was definitely on theme i feel like now that i refer back to cat and dog i'm like oh yeah of course they would stay on theme and they literally use every every which way to incorporate it i shouldn't be surprised that they aim to stay on theme as much as they can especially with the this this part my favorite move like here or whatever it is and then a hit and then it opens up Oof, nice and sharp for that clean i guess the complexity of the choreography is the challenge of incorporating that theme the whole time which can be difficult because it's like I think the hard part for many artists is to feel like they're limited and sometimes that happens when you're given a theme because you have to stick with it you have that means you have to figure out certain ways to communicate an idea and sometimes it, it's liberating because you only have one idea to focus on because sometimes you know there's a whole paradox of choice if you give someone too many choices like they're not going to choose anything that's the part like as artists it's like especially when you're choreographing it's like do whatever you want you know whatever you like doing it's like it's a little hard because, you know, especially if you're choreographing for someone, you're trying to make sure it looks good on them, not just you. And then that's the choice you're trying to make. It's like, oh, it, I think this will look good. I, I feel like it, but will it look good? But yeah, use of the floor. Um, not remembering too much. I, I just know that they're, the, the strong moments are very centered. Um, great, uh, but... The, the visuals i think are really the highlight in my opinion uh of of this piece of this choreography not just like through like the the cages breaking out of the cages but literally like being on theme with the choreography all right so let's hop on to the analysis here we go Love this fucking visual. It's clever. Shout out to the choreographer. This part. Superhero. Strong backs club, man. For real. Yeah, seen that type of pattern before. It's cool. I love it when groups do so incorporate floor work. But I'm just saying, I've seen I've seen that movement before. I feel like nothing is new under the sun, so. But um, it's nice when it's implemented. I was saying, like, yeah, like Wakanda's got Black Panther, and they got Puma. I like the like the attention where it's going from like they're grooving and everything is like upper body and limbs and then they bring it down, let their arms rest and then they're just doing everything with their feet. Again with the on theme with the hands.
This part. Bah! Look how strong they go into that, man. Let's go into that frame by frame. They go into it so hard, their freaking hair is like fucking. is like fucking exploding. Yeah. I like that. This part in between, I think I know what they're going for. I mean, it depends. I gotta see, like, we'll see what happens in a much more like finalized vision on what I see. But I, I kind of think this, this feels like it kind of drags out, but it's also good because they're also getting an opportunity to rest and breathe. I like how I like how that grows. Fucking love that. That's so cool, man. Like boom, nice little flow out. Bah, you're trapped again. Bah, bah. It's breaking through. Great storytelling through just these these dynamics, man. Yeah, I think this choreography is relatively simple compared to everything else they've done. But it's definitely like... Yeah, relatively simple. But the energy and the execution ha really has to matter. Because there's so much like that they're putting into it wa just watching this. My neck, goddamn. Superhero landing. Yeah, super intense compared to the other stuff that I've seen so far. Definitely a different vibe, like Cat and Dog and Crown, definitely fun and upbeat. Uh, Can't You See Me was more somber and a little bit more serious. This one feels a little bit more dark and uh, serious as well. Yeah, different vibe. It's kind of, it's refreshing to see them take this style. Yeah, as I was saying, the choreography is like not as complex as the other ones that they've done where they, they do something like crazy, especially from like what, cat dog, they're doing some fucking crazy rotation with their hands as they're shifting their weight left and right, left and right. This one, there's a lot of repetitive movements with a lot of flow, which is easy because they're repeating it. it. It kind of makes it easy to clean. But say, but say for example, they're doing a flow movement here, then moving to another movement and flowing out, that would be much harder to clean. Um, but since they're just grooving into a flow, it makes it easy because you make sure you're just doing it right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, down, the reach down. Okay, switch right and left and right and left. You know, it's uh, big movements, big shapes. I say fairly easy to clean because it's not like crazy intricate of like quick hand, hand or like hand, hand. Or <laughs> My hands are here apparently. Shoulder, shoulder, here, look. Boom, flow it away. That's a little bit more complex. And like you have to like really write the music. Da 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 da. Boom. That, all that stuff. The ones I think would be considered on the more intricate complex end was like with the who this part, boom, uh poof, like the sudden like class coming out. Love that. Love that. Clean, great execution, great energy. Um good use of the floor going all going from starting from the back all the way to the front. But I think was it centered the whole time? I can't remember, to be honest. I feel like it was centered the whole time. 
Um, but yeah, that's it. Let's head on to a uh, performance vid. Ooh. Frame rate. <laughs> yeah, okay. I like this close up on that. What this look? What is this look? Jeez. It's like almost like a, a goth kind of look. I could be wrong. YouTube and everyone, feel free to correct me. Do that, that part. Six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Six, seven, eight, one. Then just charge, charge, charge. Lean. Yeah. Compared to the choreography, it's like this is pretty simple and s simple and straightforward. Because I don't feel, feel like you need to do much to to sell the idea of this song and theme. Okay, I see how it's work. I see how it's playing into it. That little, this long, very long delay into this, like that. I feel like they sold that better in the rehearsal. Hey, okay, I see that now. I really see that now. And six and seven, eight and one and two and three and four and five, six, seven, eight. Is that and one and two and three and yeah, seven, eight, yeah. Okay, I like the little growl happening. God, the extension of those legs, dude. Nice. That works really well with this that that low angle. Super fucking intense, dude. Yeah, they really brought the intensity for that. So, love the outfits. Definitely kind of I could be wrong kind of like get, getting a uh, a gothy type of vibe i could be wrong feel free to correct me anyone but i love it really fits in the theme the kind of darkness yeah a kind of dark vibe to it um facial expressions i feel like was just meant to be just intense the whole time which they delivered intensity same if not more as the rehearsal there's the one part that i felt like was a little different was the breaking through i wasn't as sold on this one compared to the rehearsal video but other than that, everything was fucking fantastic. I love seeing groups show the versatility in their storytelling, in their art. So that is it for this one. All right, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's content. If you did, make sure you hit like, subscribe, share this with friends who you think might enjoy it. And if you guys want early access and whatnot to anything I'm sharing, even some of the exclusive content that I'm going to be filming, uh, make sure you check out the Patreon. And aside from that, you can check out some of the, if you want some free content, make sure to check out the content beyond these on my channel. There's tutorials, uh, there's podcast interviews from experienced dancers. Those of you who are aspiring dancers, 
uh, or someone who is aspiring to be a working dancer, I think those interviews would really benefit you. There's also my social media's YouTube channel, my dance company's YouTube channel, four podcasts that I'm in. Everything is in the links down below. But other than that, I appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.